as you can see it's pretty muddy out here still and I actually did get covered in mud so uh, that was fun to, to fall uh, it was it was like yeah it was pretty much solid mud but uh, we did survive and we're gonna keep going and then luckily there's a little bit of snow out so I was able to wash my hands but uh, yeah it's definitely spring and oh, it's wet out but not too it's not too bad that was a bad mistake on my part to wipe out where I did again I'll, yeah but it's not, you know no, no nothing no, nothing got hurt so uh, it was an easy fall so yeah we could just keep going and just yeah I mean let's see if I can but I got the whole side of it got just full of mud Even this side too somehow got all full of mud. But no harm, we can just keep going. And uh, we're doing about 31 today, 31 miles. Hopefully we'll do it in eight hours or less. Uh, the only fear would be running out of water. I don't have too much water, two liters. Soon the parks will have their water turned on so that I can uh, get water that way but for now I have to rely on what I can carry and I got the fuel that's the heavy part is I carry these Ensure. it's actually like a liquid so it gets heavy but by the end of the run I'm much lighter uh, yeah it's about 50 degrees the high of about 65 today and yeah it's beautiful it's perfect and I'm gonna continue to wear the sun cap because uh, we don't want to get burnt We're in one of the prettiest parks, parts of this entire park. As you can see, it's all these big white pines. Uh, yeah, there used to be more, but then the tornado took them all out. But I'm thankful that these are here. And I guess that's all I can say. Um, just gotta keep going and not get, it's nice to be outside. So it's a Tuesday and normally I would be on a treadmill, but I haven't done my outside long run in over two weeks. So today is the day, because on Thursday I have to film. So I don't wanna, I, I need a day of rest before I exert myself uh, anymore. So uh, this is perfect, perfect day. Yeah, there's work that needs to get done, but this is also needs to get done. So uh, and then, yeah, we won't have to do another long run for a while. And. Yeah, it's nice out here. It's a beautiful day. 
Um, but again, yeah, I will do, I might do a run over Easter weekend, which would be the Kettle Moraine. But in order to do it, I probably want to go at least four hours. So I need to get up at like three in the morning. Oh, this is great. Uh, get up at three in the morning, get running by four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, maybe I don't need to get up that early. Anyway, there might be some night runs for this, for over Easter. We might get up in the middle of the night. We'll see. I did, uh, I did sleep in today. Uh, it's important, just like nutrition and, and all the other training, it's important to be rested. Uh, sure, we could do, we could definitely complete these runs with little sleep, but it's not as enjoyable. It's not enjoyable, it's harder to enjoy, but with ample sleep, being, doing these long runs is enjoyable. Uh, and prevents our uh, immune system from going, uh, getting weak and getting sick or injured. We, you know, there's no point in doing this if you're gonna get sick or injured. Slithering snakes. Very cool. I hope I don't step in any. There must have been about six of them there. Uh, yeah, they're right kind of on the trail, so I'm sure they won't be there for long. But geez, now I'm kind of nervous. Who knows? Uh, slippery. Who knows what other. Maybe more snakes out here. There's bugs coming alive. I mean, it is, it's definitely spring, and spring is here. Oh, I can't go that way. Guess we gotta go back past the snakes. <sighs> yeah, this is getting long. We're not even half done, but I think it's it's getting warm out. Definitely don't think we have enough water. Oh, well, let's see, am I able to get across? I will get across. I'll get wet, but that's all right. I'm already pretty soaking wet. I can't believe those snakes. They're little grass snakes. I don't think they would, I don't even know if they have teeth. Well, maybe they have fangs, so they could bite me. But uh, now, I'm, now I'm seeing snakes everywhere. <laughs> but they're little guys, so I don't think they would do anything. Oh, I got one spider inside here. Spiders, yes, spiders. <sighs> Everything's. Coming to life. Mm, fun training. Mm -hmm.
Well, I'm not gonna melt. Ooh, that's refreshing. My feet are cold. And yeah, it's really cold, almost numb. But uh, we get to clear off some of that, some of that mud. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're definitely doing the 30 mile. I've been really thinking about how not to do it. But I guess I'm out here. I think it, it doesn't help that I started so late. I think if I would have started earlier, it wouldn't seem as like it's taking so long. Which it is. It's taken a little while. We're gonna be on the bike trails now through the new part. Yeah, I call it the new part because it is the windy bike trails. It's okay. There's no real big climbs. My feet are soaking wet. That's okay. Probably another two, two and a half hours left, so I don't I think my feet were wet anyway, but it's okay they're even more wet. It's, it's warm. It's not as enjoyable when it's warm. And this is nothing. It's probably 65. Summer it'll be like 80s, 90s. This will be like winter. But it's still warm. And I had to refill water. And I'd use one of the pumps so it's well water, so it tastes really irony. I hope it's okay to drink. It probably is. I feel alright. At least I have water. And I just kind of gulp it anyway. Not really taste it. So thank goodness we have more water. <sighs> this is a windy little trail. It's pretty though. Well, one thing that's nice about these warmer temperatures is the GoPro stays on. It doesn't freeze up. I had no problems with that, so that's kind of nice. There's actually a creek, a small creek that'll only be here probably for this next couple of days. But it is nonetheless a little creek. It's kind of neat. Let's see how you can get around.
well, we're getting to the end of this run. Some dude on a bike just yelled at me twice that he took a video of me, I think. Because I'm on the, the uh, bike trail and it's closed. If you can see a footprint, if you ask me, the trail's pretty dry, so I do not see a footprint at all. The trail's pretty dry, drier than it's probably been all year. So, I think they need to adjust their sign or whatever. I know when to come out here and I know when it's too wet. I'm not going to destroy the trail I run on. Anyway, didn't say anything, didn't have eye contact. For all he knew I had music on, I couldn't hear him. So, I don't know, I suppose come mountain bike season they'll identify me in. I don't know what they'll do, I'll be like, man the trail was dry, look at this, it's dry. I don't know what they're talking about. trail's more dry than it's been all year so and it's been open this winter anyway if anything it gave me a shot of adrenaline and uh, I guess this summer when I'm running trails if I run into them I, it'll give me adrenaline so bring it on I guess oh here's one wet spot which In which case I could very easily jump over it. And honestly, these mountain bike trails, they could, it was much more wild before these trails were here. So, if anything, they're doing major damage, major damage to the west. Well, Oh, here it's a little wet. But it's dry. We're not leaving a footprint. So, there's my proof. Oh, oh we gotta go back. Turn around soon. Doesn't seem suited up, but I for sure have gotten 32 miles in, for sure. So I guess the last, I'd say in the middle, I was really having a hard time. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Half, a little over halfway, I was not wanting to do this. I think it was because I was low on water. It was really warm out too. And again, I'm drinking well water from a from a park tap. It tastes very irony, but it's still wet and it's water. Oh, I'm really moving because of the adrenaline. Oh, someone yelled at me. Oh no! Do what I can. Maybe he's gonna go get the police or something. I don't know, can the police get me? Yeah, I don't know. So is the park ranger good? Well anyway, well that's a pretty feather.
I guess it's a keeper. Uh, okay. I'll uh, carefully put it in my bag here. Oh, maybe it's kind of gross. It's probably gross. Put it in my sock. Okay, we're about to run through about three feet of water. Uh, it probably was waist high at one point, so it's a little bit less. Oh, there's some ducks. Feels good. Cleans the shoes. Oh. Okay, we're headed back now. Probably, I don't know, five miles. Maybe another hour. At least we're headed back now. And our feet are already wet, so that part doesn't matter. Okay, final, final leg home. Uh, how are we feeling? All right. I guess, I think my legs are stronger because knees below don't feel much pain. Maybe I was running through the icy cold water. Oh, maybe that had something to do with it. Or maybe I am getting stronger and more used to this distance of 30 plus miles. We're piping out here eight hours. People. It's okay. You guys want a snack? Want a snack? I got a snack for you. Yeah, I got snacks. You guys want a snack? I got some pretzels. Mmm, pretzels. Yeah. Here. There you go. Want a pretzel? Here's a pretzel. Yeah. Hmm. Guess don't want any pretzels, huh? Well, I, I, I guess the deer don't want any pretzels. So, um, yeah, I try to give them some pretzels. I bring pretzels for salt. But it turns out that, uh, you know, there's just, there's not even enough salt in these pretzels. So I'm gonna start taking salt tabs. You guys mind coming closer? You wanna, wanna, 
You guys want an, want a pretzel? Want another pretzel? Huh? Want a pretzel? Here, I'll, I'm gonna give you a pretzel. You guys are. You guys, oh, you like that? Yeah, eat that. Mmm. 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 See pretzels. Mmm. Mmm. Good pretzels. No, you guys don't want any pretzels? Okay. All right. See you later. Bye. I'm gonna get another shot of you guys. All right, so anyway. See you later. So there's a family of does right there, as you could see. And I try to feed them pretzels. I don't think they're gonna, maybe they'll eat them, I don't know. I drop them whenever I see them. And uh, one of these days I'll check it out and I'll be able to determine if they're eating them or not. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Yeah, it's awesome. nice and cool in here among these big white pines uh, yeah it's awesome Alright, signing off on uh, April 16th, I believe, 17th, Tuesday, uh, 31 mile run.